John Peake, thanks for speaking with Flow News 24. Could you tell us a bit more about the Conservation and Hunting Alliance of South Australia, first of all? Uh, yeah, we're an amalgamation of all the uh, hunting clubs and our role is to maintain conservation projects and uh, promote um, ethical meat gathering. The flyer we spotted online that has come with the name of Conservation and Hunting Alliance on it is about the annual duck and quail hunting season and a concern that it continues. Can you tell us a bit about the season first when it runs? Yes, the season generally runs in South Australia from late February to June and it's timed so that it's outside the breeding season of wild duck and uh, it's set so it's sustainable so that uh, um, a minimal harvest is taken um, that doesn't affect overall populations. And is there... Um, oh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. And, well, in contrast, in New South Wales and uh, Queensland and WA, um, ducks are hunted inside the breeding season as agricultural pests, and uh, we think that our system is far better. And are there some hotspot locations for where the hunting tends to happen, like at Bull Lagoon in the southeast, or is it all over the state? Um, it happens all over the state, um, but probably the Riverland and the lower southeast are, are regions where it's extremely popular because they have a lot of wetlands in those areas. Yeah, and in your title, the organisation is Conservation and Hunting. Uh, some people might claim that those two things are opposed. Do you, how do you um, pr- say that hunting is part of the conservation effort uh, when it comes to your activities? Well, conservation and hunting are, are, are totally linked because... If you don't look after your resource, then there's nothing there. The Aboriginals uh, people have practised this for for 60,000 years and and we're doing the same. We've committed uh, enormous funds to uh, restore wetlands um, at Tollroll Game Reserve for one. Um, Our membership all over the state are involved in a wide range of conservation activities because we know unless we practise sound conservation, we cannot exist. And so that's interesting when we listen to um, the views of others, uh, such as the RSPCA that are mentioned in your flyer, concerns about anim- extreme animal rights activists, including the RSPCA. What's, what's your beef with them? Um, we have no beef with them, except that they're trying to take away our lifestyle through a point where they just don't understand. They think that our hunting is a sport, where it's a traditional way of life. Uh, it's a traditional food gathering exercise just like First Nation people do. And I wonder if the RSPCA also want to take away the hunting rights of First Nation people. And are they part of your organisation or are you familiar with places where they do participate in their, their, their traditional hunting? Um, they're not part of our organisation, but they're very, very welcome to join. Um, we do have some contacts with First Nation people. Um, uh, we've had elders uh, open some of our fundraising uh, functions um, and um, basically we come from very similar viewpoints, so we would love to develop that connection more. So is there a particular bill or proposal, say, in Parliament that is what you're concerned about at the moment? Is there an active move to restrict or close the hunting seasons? Uh, yes. Uh, Tammy Franks from the Greens uh, has uh, said repeatedly that she's going to lodge a b- private member's bill to ban both duck and quail hunting. To ban it all, um, to- banning it all together? That's correct, yes. And so what that will mean is that the ducks will become a pest species and they'll be shot in unrestricted numbers um, during the breeding season. And we think that our system, where they're harvested for food, um, is is far better um, than than that rubbish. So when you talk about them would become a pest species, is that because you're saying the numbers wouldn't be managed by yourselves in a conservation sense and so there'd be so many of them that they would then become a pest? Um, No, but they would become large numbers in certain areas. Um, Hunting doesn't have an effect on overall populations because we take so few. Hmm. Um, But ducks would become problems in certain areas Um, and then drastic measures would be taken to reduce those areas, and quite likely that might occur at any time of the year, including the breeding season. It's far better um, that hunters take ducks for food rather than they be shot as pests and wasted. And we broadcast in Victoria as well where there's been a hot debate about this with the latest plan from the Andrews government. I'm not asking you to comment specifically on that, but the activist end of that spectrum is saying there should be no season at all. So would you say the Greens are really in the same camp as those activists that are like Animals Australia saying there just shouldn't be any duck hunting full stop? 
Yes, well, that's that's what they're saying, absolutely. Um, and quite frankly, duck hunting is a traditional exercise. Uh, it's been practised in this country uh, since European settlement and by First Nation people since the dawn of time. Um, it's sustainable, uh, it's healthy, it provides food, um, and it provides an, an, a, a massive impetus for wetland conservation because the hunting community is heavily involved in wetland conservation and what we've done is, is quite remarkable in this state. Now, just one last question is about something that's mentioned in the flyer about how your organisation assists in physical and mental health. Could you talk about that briefly? Well, yes. I'm going hunting this weekend and I'm going out with my extended family. Um, up until last year, the oldest person in our camp was 96 years old mm. and uh, they all look forward to the opening. We get together. It's a time of connection. Um, it's a time of bonding. We all co- go out and we bring home food for the table. Um, it, it's, it's a very wonderful time for those people involved in it. It's a very positive time for family bonding and family traditions. So in that sense, it's not much different in, from in your point of view to going fishing with Grandpa in the boat? It's absolutely no difference at all. Mm. We harvest wild native whiting and we think that they're a beautiful thing to eat. And uh, some of us harvest wild native duck and we think that they're a beautiful uh, thing to eat. And fishing and hunting are beautiful activities provided they're practised in a responsible and sustainable manner. Uh, well said, John. John Peake, Conservation and Hunting Alliance SA. Thanks for speaking with Flow News 24. Thank you.